So, <laughs> apparently a tech channel showing people how to install Windows is now considered harmful and dangerous content. Well, at least according to YouTube it is. Let's talk about it. Well, I guess Windows could be harmful. Well, today quickly became a bad day. I just released a video on Monday showing how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. As I always do when I wake up in the morning, I wanted to see how my video was doing. This video had been doing better than most. In fact, it had the potential to be one of the most popular videos on my channel. But to my surprise, it had been removed for violating YouTube's content policy on harmful and dangerous content. After taking a few minutes to wake up, this is before I even had my first cup of coffee, I fired up my computer and went to the creator studio to try to find out what was going on. Now, if I understand this correctly, YouTube believes that installing Windows 11 somehow constitutes stealing software. So I guess everyone who's installed Windows on their computer is now a software pirate? Uh, honestly, I really don't know if I understand this correctly because I'm still not even sure what's going on. All I know for sure is that a video that I spent at least 12 hours filming and editing, and that's not even counting all the hours that I spend on research prior to making the video, is just gone. In total production, this video probably has in the neighborhood of about 20 hours invested into it. And on top of the time it takes, content creation is not free. Some videos cost a lot of money to produce. I've spent hundreds of dollars on videos in the past, and I recently heard that Mr. Beast spent $4 million producing his Squid Games video. While I don't spend anywhere near the amount of money Mr. Beast spends, a tech channel is still an expensive channel to run, especially when I don't have manufacturers giving me free stuff. You know, it would be nice though if anybody has stuff out there they want to give me. Now, I have submitted an appeal and the video very well may be put back up, but that's not the point. The point is the momentum is now gone. All the hard work that I invested into that video is gone. And to be honest with you, my attitude towards YouTube isn't positive right now. Even if this video gets reinstated, the chances of it continuing with the momentum that it had prior to being removed is unlikely. If YouTube reinstates the video, why would the algorithm promote a video that hasn't had any views in days? Or however long it takes for YouTube to put the video back up? You know, if that even happens at all. You know, I started this channel for fun. I thought it would be a blast to make YouTube videos. And in the two years since I've been doing this, I have really enjoyed it, and the channel has grown at a rate faster than I ever expected. To the point even where I've been recently thinking about the viability of this channel becoming a full-time career. I've invested thousands of dollars, not just in equipment, but also remodeling this room of my house as a studio. I'm also in the process of spending 20 grand on building a real studio where I can make better content with multiple sets. I've probably spent maybe three times what I've made on YouTube just to get to the point where I'm at. But to continue to spend money to produce content just for YouTube's automated system to decide, nope, you can't say that, or you can't do that. It's not only frustrating, but it questions whether or not I'm doing the right thing in the first place. Even if I follow YouTube's content policy to a T, which the video that was removed does, content can still be removed by what I'm assuming is an automated system. My current problem is that I don't even know what part of the video that was removed was against YouTube's content policy. Since the entire video was about installing Windows, I have to assume that simply installing Windows constitutes a violation. But I have several videos about installing Windows and they haven't been removed. So in order to avoid violating these rules in the future, I need to know what exactly violated the rules in the first place. What specifically in my video was a content violation? I don't mind playing in YouTube sandbox and following their rules. My issue specifically is that I don't know what rule I broke and how I broke it. I honestly don't expect to get an answer to that question. Right now, as you can see, I'm set up for a video that I was planning to film today showing people how to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi. But now, 
I don't even know if I should make the video. Just like the last one, I already have tons of hours invested into research and tons of money invested into the things I needed for this video and I'm ready to film. But since the last video about installing Windows 11 was deemed harmful and dangerous, What's to stop this one from being removed for exactly the same reason? This video will roughly take three hours to film and about 10 hours to edit. And if YouTube thinks that simply installing Windows 11 constitutes software piracy, then this video would be just as susceptible to being removed and worse, being a strike on my channel. But you know what you might say? There's tons of videos already on YouTube about installing Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi. And you know, that's true. There's also tons of videos showing you how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Yet, my video was still removed. In fact, when I looked through my catalog of videos, most of them would be susceptible to the same issue. How can I run a tech channel if I'm not allowed to install Windows? I just don't know how to answer that question at this point. And you know what? I can take all the hateful comments about my beard or the fact that sometimes I use the wrong word like EUFI instead of UEFI. I can take all the people saying my face looks ugly or that I'm too old for YouTube. To be honest with you, these comments make me laugh. I think it's pretty sad that people have nothing better to do than to criticize YouTubers for their looks. And you know what? If I really cared what other people thought about me, I definitely would not be on YouTube. <laughs> You know, every time I get comments like that, I just look at the almost 40,000 subscribers that enjoy my content. And you know what? That's exactly why I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi. Of course, it's not gonna be in this video, but it will be in an upcoming video. I am gonna film it. Because it comes down to this. This is a tech channel. If I can't install Windows, then there's no purpose for this channel to even exist. So if YouTube removes my channel for doing tech videos, then I guess they remove it. I can't have a tech channel if I'm not allowed to do tech, but this seriously hampers my ambitions of making this channel a full-time job. I posted my first video on March 9th, 2020. That's two years ago, and this channel has gained almost 40,000 subscribers. That's nowhere near the number of subscribers I thought I would have in just two years. In fact, if you go back and watch some of my first videos, it's truly amazing that we've come as far as we have. I'm still gonna make videos. In fact, I'm not gonna change anything about how I do videos. I'm still gonna cover the same topics and do the same in-depth how-tos that I've done in the past. This will change nothing about the content I make. In fact, I'm still gonna build my studio because the reason why I'm doing it is for the 40,000 people who subscribe to this channel. I'm not doing this for the YouTube overlords. I'm doing this for you, the people who watch my videos, the people who benefit from my content. <laughs> yes, even the people who think my beard looks stupid. I'm doing this for you. And I have no idea what's gonna happen with the video that was removed. If YouTube restores it, then great. If they don't, then it's gonna be a loss to the people that would have benefited from it. Most of all though, I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to this channel. Thank you for your continued support. I hope that I'll be around for many years to come creating great content. I hope this incident isn't the beginning of the end for this channel. And as I said before, this will not change anything about the type of content that I make. I will still continue to make in-depth tech videos of PCs and PC gaming for as long as I'm allowed to. So with that said, check out some of these videos, at least before they get removed. Have a great day.